I'm waiting, Cloud. What the hell is this? It's getting all dark and red smoky. Is it meteor? Yeah. I'd say so. Sephiroth. Yeah, I figured I figured that thing wouldn't be the final boss. That would be really weird. Well it wouldn't be weird, it'd be setting up the second part. Jesus. You just like ate the meteor. Casually chuck a building at someone. Casually throw a train. The sharpest sword. Cleanly cutting through entire pieces of building. Has a weird jump. Menu? Yeah. For one-on-one -on -one duel, I'm guessing. Um, you know, maybe take off Fire Elemental just because I don't want a chance for him to, you know, absorb it, because that would suck. Uh. If this is gonna be a one-on-one, -on -one, I'd rather him just have, like, Chakra. For a, uh, no MP cost heal. And we will move... Move Fire Elemental. Keep Fire and Elemental because I like him having, you know, throwing up those meaty Fire Agas. But now we can just heal, or take less damage from Fire and the off chance that that's what he's gonna do. Uh... Other than that, Breach could be helpful if he buffs himself. Um, let's take off Wind and put on Barrier, maybe? Barrier could be pretty cool. Let's do Barrier. Yeah, so we can still heal ourselves via Chakra, bury ourselves up, we have an offensive magic in Fire Aga, and Breach if he has buffs. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we're good with that. So this music's intense, first off, uh, as well I'd expect it to be. Let's see, we're gonna just gonna... I was holding guard, but I guess not. Aeolian Onslaught. Alright. Telerik Fury. Kinda just... Let us... Okay, so it's look for you, he does three slashes. Oh, okay, he dances, our he dances through our blows. I feel like this is going to be very much like the Rufus fight, where we're going to have to kind of watch and wait. So let's assess as he cuts me in half. Unable to read, unable to read. He lesser resists uh, all elements and magic. Greater resists... Uh, physical? Fixed damage. Okay. Alright, that's fair. So, like, gravity. Okay, so you can't guard Aeolian Onslaught, which I just tried to do twice. To Lark Fury, you can guard. Okay, so... Chakra up. Counter stance would probably be good. Fire Aga. I, I was right to, you know, pro fire resist. Even though that's doing immune, we are still, um, gaining a ATB, so that's nice. 
To Lark Fear, we can guard, which I'm not doing. <laughs> Alien Onslaught, we have to dodge. Guard to Lark Fury. Roll back, do it. Uh, he's doing Alien Onslaught, so we're gonna roll away from that ring and still get hit. Okay. Slow down. <laughs> get some hits in there. What if we tried to do something like Braver? But still, we hit him. I count that as win. Um. He's using Blazaga now. Tracker should go up first. Then I can guard. Luckily Blazaga kinda sucks and you can just move out of the way. Okay. Next time he does- nope. I was gonna say next time he does that I should try to do the counter guard. Staggered him, knocked him up. Little cinematic slashes. Knock him down to the ground. And his stagger's still going. So we're going to do. Um, we're gonna do Fireaga. Go. Oh, it just missed. That's unfortunate. If I, like, decide to do Fire Rock like a millisecond early... Good news, Chakra still went off. Fire Raga. Won't do too much. So basically we just have to counter him. I forgot to guard that. Uh, cause if you can guard it, you can just dodge out of the way. Oh, 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 hey. Staggered me that time, I guess. Okay, so you can't... I want to try to see if I could push that stagger, which I probably can. There's that stagger. Gonna knock him over to the other platform. We're gonna hop over. We're gonna do some hits. Uh, it's moving too fast down to move and use Infinity Zen, so we're just gonna Braver and then Chakra. Lark Fury, and we are going to do Ascension while he's. Let's dance, <laughs> That's so good. Let's, da let's dance, asshole. Ooh. That's a very. I like how he's using moves that he has in Dissidia, like the slashing once and shooting shockwaves. Oh, doing a pseudo meteor. Hey, yo, Tifa. Need some help? Don't know about me. You know it. Enjoy oh, I love it. So it's going to be less of a duel now, probably. Buffer up. Oh, oh, calm down. Hell's Gate. This is the exact movie had in Dissidia. The one where he just slams down. Okay, so problem is I no longer have Prey Orc here because I was literally expecting this to be a, just a straight up one on one. Uh, so, that being said. Staying to Lark Fury, I can switch real quick and counter that. Or I 
Or I can counter it once and then get hit for the rest of the attacks. That's fine, I guess. Ooh, I have zero health. Um, which is a problem. Boundless Void. Which is creating a little black hole that's following me. So we're going to throw things on, on Cloud. Cloud desperately needs ATP so he can heal himself. I tried to uh, get enough ATP to before it, and uh, that is gonna probably kill Tifa. Nope. That's good. Uh, so you are going to Chakra. Tifa's going to probably die. Make a potion? Okay. Can't guard have a Hell's Gate. Which fair and understandable. They are both very close to dying. One punch and she's gonna die now. No, nope, she has 60 health. Got a stagger, and we are both uncomfortably low. But I love the team combination attacks. So Cloud def desperately needs a uh, Chakra, and Tifa is so low it's ridiculous. We're just gonna use an Elixir. Uh, we are going to throw a haste on Cloud. Because he's going to need it to heal himself, because I am a scrub. I keep forgetting that's got three extra hits, or extra hits now. Can I... Can I counter Stan's Hell's Gate? Or should I just move out of the way? Cannot really move out of the way because that's a big. I will try counter stands next time though. Hey, ATB. Hey, Scintilla. That's the one where he dashes and shoots uh, beams. Let's try counter stands it? I think I did that a little late. Yeah. Well, that still worked, I guess. In some backwards sort of way. Okay, yeah. That's very hard to move out of the way because it is very big. Tifa, can you throw our boy a mega potion? Would be nice. Okay, you are pressured. Let's just do ascension. Nothing personal. Oh, okay. So boundless void does not work. Or, I mean, you can't um, use your limit break when he's using Boundless Void. Which is noted. I don't. Because you can't guard that. And you can't really move it away either. And he's doing it again. So, where. I see it does do the lines, and I'm wondering if you just have to like align yourself with uh, where the lines aren't, basically. Okay. Um. I guess. Okay, Blazaga, we know what to do with that. Just guard it. Roll out of the way. Cloud. Rogue on her. Don't know who you're going after. I couldn't. I th couldn't really tell who he's going after. Counter stands. Okay. And now he's got a wing. And he shot a gravity well.
Hey. Is it Barrett or Aerith? Aerith. Shot a fireball. Because she can do that. Oh god. Fire infusion. Flame wall. I need to heal very badly. But if I control Aerith, he'll focus on her, which is good because uh, she's got health compared to the other two. Okay. Really glad that I infused Cloud with Fire Defense. <laughs> we're gonna do an AoE Kiraga, and then when we get ATB, we're gonna do an AoE Regan. Because we need it. Because I am a scrub. That, that's, oh Jesus. Got bounced around there. Okay. Um, AoE Regan would be nice. Cloud could get a mono wall off, that would be great. Mono wall on Earth. She's got that going on. I don't like his instant cast fire aga. Oh, that's, that wasn't instant cast fire aga, that was just casually him doing explosions. Potion on Aerith. Octa Slash. Nice. That was one of his, uh. Oh, lightning mode. Okay. Hmm. I would like her to not get hit with whatever's about to happen. Storm. Okay. Shoot some lightning bolts. That one's not as bad as the other ones have been. Although Thundaga is fast, I need to remember that. Um, should I try to? Let's go ahead and go for it. We just need to pump out some damage. And while she's doing that. That's gonna wail on her and get the, M the ATP for prey. He is staggered. Oh, that's right, I took prey off of Cloud. Mm. Well, then Aerith is going to do an AoE, a magnified uh, Kiraga focused on Tifa, and Cloud's gonna run over there. She's gonna do Rise and Fall, an Omni Strike. I think he's... Did it say he's wind mode, or was that just... Will he be fine, though? Will he be? Oh, ice infusion. So... Uh, let's summon effort, then. Breakdance right through a sword. As you do. Spike. Got that. Instant cast Blazaga. Luckily, like Blazaga kind of sucks. How did that hit me? Was there another one I rolled into that I didn't even see? That would be par for the course, really. Um, let's hit him with Fireaga if we can. I don't think it'll let me, but. Oh, yeah, there's just Blazagas everywhere. Aerith, how about we re Regan? That'll help. Uh, while he is focused on Aerith, throw a fire rug out. And Tifa can give us a haste. I'm asleep, that won't work. <laughs> give Aerith a haste. Hey, he's pressured. Um, Ray of Judgment? I highly doubt that's gonna happen, but go for it. He's doing Shadow Flare. Yeah, it's gonna. Oh, 
I basically figured out that you uh, have to just have him focus on someone else, and while that person's being focused, uh, like while he's focusing on Cloud, I can have Aerith do stuff, and vice versa. Hey, we Kira focused on Tifa, Windwall, Wind Whale. Sorry. I like how Ifrit's just casually punching him, and he's like, whatever. Let's see. It's kind of a cool freeze frame right there. Um, switch to Earth. Have her get ATB. Boop, boop, boop. Stop it. Aroga. Ifrit's gonna do Hellfire. Hellfire. I don't know why I said it like that. He's just standing there like, yeah, and? That'll do 4,000. Which is good. I have no con. Uh, Hell's Gate. Okay, yeah, you just have to move. <laughs> he, like, hit him in the face. Hey, let's do Ray of Judgment. Tifa's gonna do. Dive Kick. Cloud's gonna do. Uh, Bravely. Staggered. Now we switch. To oh yeah, that's gonna go down way too fast. Um, dive kick, dive kick and braver at the same time. Oh, it's style and combo. Is he gonna absorb the ghosties? Or did he just explode them? Not really sure what just happened. Or is he showing the meteor? Or is he summoning Meteor? He just put it up there. Shadow Flare is intense. And he's just spamming it now. Nine. Classic. Classic countdown here. Uh, Braver? Don't think Planet Protection is going to do much here. We're going to use Thundaga. Tifa's going to pop her buffs. Not going to use Thundaga because he's now focusing on her. That was my bad. I should have known to have her cast when she's not being focused. He's at 8. And he's also flying. Heartless Angel will drop the party to 1, probably. Yeah. Except for her if he wasn't there. She's going to do an AoE. Probably just an AoE Kiraga. Okay. And then I'll have Tifa throw her uh, Turbo Ether. And then I'll follow it up with an AoE Regan. Or Regen. That'll help with that. Um. Gonna get her ATB, then switch off of her. So she can cast Thundagas without him paying attention. Because he basically just. Oh, Joe. Okay. He does that, is what he does. Guard those Shadow Flares. Hit him with a Braver. Because I can. Uh, switch to Earth so I can get enough ATB to kill kill her. I think I just need to uh, have someone else <laughs> heal her. So here's what we're gonna do: Phoenix down, and then Tifa is going to make a potion. Her gotta wait a little bit. Heartless Angel again. Didn't quite knock everyone to one, like it normally would. If I had a Mega Elixir, I'd use that. But we don't, so what we're gonna do is just have Tifa throw one Mega Potion on herself. Oh, she's all the way over there, so. Uh, okay, Tifa Mega Potion herself. Cloud is going to Mega Potion herself. Aerith is going to get the ATB. 
to Kira herself, unmagnified. Or that's gonna happen. Okay. Cloud, Chakra. I just, I can't, can't get anything done right now. He's being such a dick. Uh, Phoenix down, Aerith. Heartless Angel again. I'm guessing. I'm just gonna do Planet Protection. I don't even think it's gonna work. But, on the off chance it helps. Okay, Cloud has enough health to, or ATB to do that. Heartless Angel. Of course. This time she is in the way. And she's probably gonna die immediately. Three. Cloud can do Ascension, which might just kill him. Harith, of course, fell unconscious. Tifa's just gonna use an elixir on herself, just to full heal. Didn't even really need it, but there's literally no point in saving him at this point. Ascension did not really work. He's doing some crazy stuff. Hey, Sephiroth defeated. I think he's at three or four. That got really hectic there. from wherever they were. Sorcerer Storm. Very classy. Punch a ghost. I like how Barrett shooting the ghost is now suddenly working. These ghosts are not minions, they all only have one health. It was just a bunch of ghosts. That's pretty. And he's falling. It's now start of a Kingdom Hearts game. Memories or mind control? He's like, what? Interesting use of this song. Interesting. It's uh, from like, from like Bogenhagen's uh, conservatorium. Let us defy destiny together. I want to say stuff, but I don't want to give spoilers to people who don't know the original. But I want to know if this is the actual Sephiroth or if this is the Genova mind clones. Uh, fuckery. Because the Sephiroth through the whole original, like, first 70% of 7 is not actually Sephiroth, it's just Genova uh, clones and Cloud's PTSD mind-altering uh, effects from the Genova cells implanted in him. His choreography is cool. Also, Cloud can teleport now. That's cool, I guess. This fight seems really cool. Just 
got bitch slapped. More than seven seconds. Hmm. Yeah, that's who I am. God, Palmer's such a creep. He's so suave. That coat is so badass. They're like, all this Genova goop. Hojo is very happy because he's all about this. This is the part that's confusing me because Zack should not be alive. So I'm confused if this is like a flashback or this is happening at the same time. I'm very lost right now as far as Zack's considered. Hey, Cloud. You see that? Okay, yeah, it is a... Oop. Okay. I don't... Is that the, uh, the Whisper is being destroyed? This part has me all, con all sorts of confused. Okay, just showing like after the craziness is all passed, I'm guessing. People are recovering from the Sector 7 collapse. Casually lifting up an iframe like that's pretty impressive. Those things are not human weight, like lift upable, which is not a sentence that makes sense. Marl, what a G. I'm really confused by like a story perspective like do so these people obviously see these sparkles which is signifying like the swarm of whispers was defeated which I guess is suggesting that like uh, basically a new timeline has just been made
That would be uh, Zagan, which is Tifa's teacher. Makes me very com interested in where the second re part of the remake's gonna go. Sephora. As long as he's still out there, I. I thought you beat him. Hmm. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you can use I can't wait for the remake so I can play as Red Thirteen. I'm in too. Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of Earth is an enemy of Avalanche. There you go, Barrett. It's raining. I'm guessing it hasn't rained in a long time. Given how everything near Midgar is a complete waste. Okay, so it is showing the past. That makes sense. I was gonna say, because Zack died and gave Cloud the Buster Sword, as one could guess. And then uh, Cloud took on Zack's Memories and persona, essentially, because uh, Cloud is basically a empty husk after Hojo did a lot of experimentation on him. And uh, Cloud had such such bad mental issues that he basically had no personality and was like a, a lifeless puppet and just followed Zack around and then kind of took his story in life. Okay, focal. Uh, the unknown journey, or unknown journey will continue. Yeah, that's basically just straight up saying this is a new story. Well, this is a long episode, as I knew it would be. Um, thank you guys for going on this journey with me. Uh, I did not know how much it was going to change, and I had no idea... I had no idea where the story was going to go in a lot of those points, but I had a lot of fun with this. I mean, the combat system was a lot of fun. It was great. Um, I'm terrible at dodging and guarding. <laughs> um, I, But to be fair, I had to play this game with long periods of time between episodes because uh, I went from having a lot of free time to having a daughter and... Uh, multiple different full-time jobs that took uh, various parts of my schedule. So I basically pillied through this game in the span of a year and a half and got uh, a few hours every, one, every like, couple months. So uh, long periods of time went between playing and uh, remembering how to do the controls, really. But I still managed to get through it. Uh, kind of a brute force method, but I never really got a game over. Except for that one time against the Sagans, but that was a weird fluke. <laughs> uh, I really thought I was going to get a game over on that Sephiroth fight, which was going to be really annoying, because if I had to redo the whole thing, I would just had to have done it all off-camera, basically. And it was, it was already getting late. But, 
I like the stylization of these credits. But the uh, the art style has been amazing. The characterization really well done. I love uh, I love Tifa like as a as a character in this game. She's so much fun to play, and I also really like her like new girls team with Aerith. Like her, like how she's supportive and stuff. Also, Aerith's a lot of fun to play. I'm I'm glad the story is getting changed because that uh means in theory she'll be playable for a lot longer. Good job, Yosh. Not super familiar with many of these voice actors, and I know a good amount of voice actors. I had um, I had a lot of fun with this though. I can't wait for the second remit, the second half, uh, which I will absolutely be covering. So I hope you're, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you're looking forward to the next one with me. Hopefully, I'll be able to get more stable free time and be able to play it through <laughs> in a more timely manner. I still think it's hilarious that Claudia named her her son basically her same name, but with different letters. Like, mm, my name's Claudia. I'll name my son Cloud because I'm creative. <laughs> Oh yeah, Beck, Burke, and Butch. Those were the the three bandits. It took me a second to remember who they were. Cloud's Drift, age 14. Tifa, age 8 and 13. And Aerith, age 7. The Sephiroth voice actor did a great job. And it sounds like my daughter's awake. Just in time. She let me get through the end of the game. <laughs> the music, um, I do wanna I do wanna talk about the music, because it the remakes were really good. Um I've I've been avoiding listening to them because I obviously didn't want to get spoilers on how the game ended. Uh, but the, all, pretty much every single remix of every single boss theme and every battle theme was really, really good. And uh, a lot of the times when I was between episodes, I would sit on a pause menu and just be able to kind of listen to some of them. Specifically that the end music right before you went into that portal was really nice. Um, I didn't get to play it along a lot of it, obviously, because I kind of just started the episode and went in. Uh, but while I was... Between uh, starting the episode, I got to sit there and kind of to listen to it and fiddle with materia for a bit. And it's a really nice uh, blend of a few songs. I love this uh, Aerith theme. I love the classic RPG credits where it shows scenes throughout the game. But I think I'm going to end it here, unless anything special happens. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching, and uh, look forward to part two, whenever it comes out. So we got a little little bit little bit left over here. Uh, chapter selection has now been unlocked. Open the main menu and access system chapter selection to replay any chapter from the beginning. Using your current characters, weapons, and materia, this is a great way to tackle uncompleted quests, find story elements you missed the first time through, and more thoroughly explore Midgar. So I can go back and do those VRs. I think I can take uh, Aerith to do some Colosseums and uh, other stuff that I may have missed. Um, hard difficulty is now unlocked and can be selected by going chapter select and playing one of the chapters. In this difficulty, items cannot be used and only HP is restored at rest spots. However, certain manuscripts are only available in this difficulty setting. A uh, record of your adventure can be viewed from system play log in the main menu. The log contains information from battle records to story branches. 
bonus XP and AP. You will now earn twice as much XP and three times as much AP. Ooh. New combat simulators have been accessible from Hoda's Lab. Test it out. Select like chapter 17. You can skip the mini game, uh, bike mini game. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna save it from here. And, uh, have a great day, everyone.